Welcome back to 610 Bricks, guys. In this week's episode, we're going to be opening this envelope filled with the Philadelphia Brickfest Live stuff that's coming to Philly October 15th and 16th. Leave me a comment if I'm going to see you there. I'm really excited to get this thing open because there's supposed to be some minifigures and some other stuff in here. Uh, and I just wanted to open it with you guys and show you what I got inside my bag. And maybe if you guys are also attending the show, um, you know, you could do an unboxing too um, and just let me know what you got inside of your package and see if it's exactly the same or if they give everybody something different. Um, yeah, I'm ready to go. I hope you are too. Let's go. All right, guys. So it looks like there's a ton of little goodies in here. So let's pull out the first bag and check it out. So it looks like the first one is a Lego Jurassic World uh, minifigure and some type of little stand. It looks like Owen Grady. Um, he comes with a, I guess, like a little uh, like a little gun or something like that. It looks like it actually shoots, so that's pretty cool. Uh, that's neat. It says that it's a limited edition. I mean, I've never seen this before, and I do collect some of the Jurassic World stuff, so this is new for me. Foil bag's actually pretty neat, um, and it's all genuine Lego pieces as well, so this is really cool. Um, next up on the list, and let's see what we have here, is a Lego Ninjago limited edition Samurai X. Um, you know, I don't know. Uh, I've never collected Lego Ninjago. Uh, it just kind of wasn't an interest of mine. Um, I don't know. I mean, he looks cool, so it might be a really neat one to add to like my minifigure wall that I'm working on. Um, so yeah, he's actually pretty neat. I don't know if I should open these or not. I mean, I don't know if they're worth anything or whatever, but I mean, typically my rule of thumb is if you buy Lego, don't keep it in the box, just build it. Um, you know, unless you're some type of investor and you're buying multiple sets. But I feel like if you just buy it and sit it on a shelf, it's kind of a waste. You need to get in and actually build something. Next up on the list is a Lego Star Wars First Order SF TIE Fighter. I don't know what the SF stands for. Um, oh, maybe Special Forces. There we go. So this one also says it's a limited edition. Are they all going to say that? I don't know. This one comes with 32 pieces and I don't have a TIE Fighter in my collection. So I guess I'm going to start small and work my way up to the larger set. Next one up is also another Star Wars Slave 1, and you might see that there's going to be a little bit of a Star Wars bias here because this is actually like the VIP set that I chose. So there was a couple different uh, options that you have, so Star Wars is going to be the main, but there is some different minifigures and stuff in here and a couple other themes, but the Star Wars was actually the main theme that I chose for my mystery box. So. It's actually pretty cool. I'm excited about this. This will go nice alongside of my 20th anniversary slave one that I have upstairs. So it's a little cool build. Uh, it might be fun to make some shorts out of these uh, and just show you guys exactly how they're built and do this over the next coming weeks. So one of the next ones inside of this box, um, we have Poe Dameron's X-Wing Fighter. Um, I actually have the large version of this set as well that I haven't built yet. Um, and I know that set's been retired for, I, I want to say about like a year now, maybe, um, for this black and orange version of Poe Dameron's X-Wing. So maybe one time, if you guys think it's a good idea, um, and let me know in the comments below, maybe we'll do a short uh, earlier in the week, like on Wednesday when I try to release my shorts each week. And then for the main video, I'll do the actual main build of the large set and show you some of the details and just kind of compare them. I mean, I know there's going to be no comparison because this is just a small little brick built, just tiny set, but it would, see, it would definitely be pretty cool to see them side by side. So the next one that we have here is actually a Jurassic World, looks like a brick built Tyrannosaurus Rex and it comes with 65 pieces in here. Um, and it looks like it's going to stand 10.4 centimeters tall. So it's going to be pretty small, um, but it's it's a neat little it's a neat little set. I mean, it's a cool little dinosaur. It doesn't look like it has much detail in there, but you really can't expect much from 65 pieces. And who knows? Maybe it'll look better out of the bag. Uh, it's kind of hard to see because you have like that blue chrome, and the lighting is uh, kind of hitting that blue chrome a little bit. But yeah, we'll make a video of this as well and we'll actually get it built. So next up on the list is another Star Wars set. And this one looks like it's just like a little accessory stand. So it looks like it has a couple lightsabers and a couple blasters. So you have the blue saber and you also have a green one as well. And then two of these blasters and a couple little pieces to make the stand. 
So if you are a Star Wars collector, this is going to be pretty cool. So, you know, a lot of the times I know I have some Star Wars stuff from when I was a kid and a couple of the minifigures are actually missing their lightsabers. So this one will actually work pretty well for Qui-Gon Jinn. Um, moving on, uh, we have another Star Wars set and it is the Millennium Falcon. Okay, so this is pretty cool. I haven't built a Falcon yet. Um, I've been really just getting into Star Wars stuff. I mean, I love all the movies and I've probably seen almost every single Star Wars movie, including the stuff that's new on Disney Plus. Um, but I haven't gotten the Falcon yet. I don't know which one I want to save up money for if I want to get the Ultimate Collector Series and I know it's going to take up a ton of space or if I just want to go out and get the one that they have at like my local Walmart right now for like one... I think it's like $128. But anyway, I mean, it still comes with minifigures and it's still the Millennium Falcon, so it's cool. Next up on the list, it is another Lego Ninjago. This is uh, actually kind of confusing because he looks like a pirate to me. So I know Lego has done pirates. And like I said, I know nothing about Lego Ninjago. So this is a limited edition. His name is Bucko. Okay, that's... Uh... All right, Bucko. Cool. Um, so anyway... Uh, he looks more like a pirate to me and not a ninja, but I don't know. Does Ninjago have pirates? Let me know in the comments below. Next up on the list is this uh, Lego Jurassic World Triceratops. So it's another brick-built Triceratops. So my son actually might have fun with these. Um, I'll build them both and let them uh, have them and they can fight each other because that's what they do. One eats plants, one eats meat. Next up on the list is a Lego Star Wars First Order Stormtrooper. This one looks like it is just a minifigure inside of here, and it might come with one blaster. Um, in the main picture here, it doesn't have a blaster, but the one on the side does. So we'll see when we open this thing up. Uh, it is, would be a good addition to any Stormtrooper army that you're building. So next up on the list, we have this Lego City... Um, I guess this is supposed to be a street sweeper. Uh, that's actually pretty cool. I don't know um, if you're a person that actually has a Lego city. Uh, it'd be pretty cool just to move them from street to street so it actually looks like he's cleaning your city. Um, so yeah, this one's pretty cool. I don't have a Lego city, um, but I have seen a lot of people on YouTube that actually have these really in in intricate cities uh, with streets, minifigures posed. They have vehicles all types of stuff. It's really neat. So this would actually be a really cool addition because I haven't seen any street sweepers. I mean, this might be an actual set, but I do not know. Next up, we have another um, First Order Stormtrooper. I mean, it's cool, but it's kind of it's kind of sad because I spent some money on here and I mean, they gave me a double. But I guess, you know, if they're just stuffing stuff in a bag, they really don't care who gets what. But I wish it was all something different. But, you know, like I said, who doesn't need another Stormtrooper? And it looks like I have a Simpsons minifigures. Okay, so this is like one of the blind bags. Um, I am going to open it. I know this is retired and it says that there's 16 to collect. So unfortunately, when I open this, I know I'm probably going to like it. And then I'm going to want to buy all 16. So I might be in the market hunting down the rest of these minifigures for this collection. And then next up on the list, we have a Lego City Limited Edition. It looks like a space crawler, maybe like a moon crawler or something, because that's definitely a spaceman. He is not a scuba diver. Um, so, yeah, he's definitely a space dude. So I guess he would go along with like some of the other NASA sets. Um, you know, maybe I don't really collect City, like I said, but maybe I'll pick up one of those like space stations or something so he can have some buddies to hang out with. Um, and I believe this is the last one in this bag. Um, and this one is a Lego Friends, um, just like a little Halloween set. Uh, just like looks like a little bit of a decor. Uh, maybe I could put it inside like the haunted house or something that I'm going to build for Halloween. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty uh, just basic. But my daughter also has some friend stuff. So maybe this will go alongside of the stuff that she has. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. We got a ton of great stuff in this little tiny bag here. And this was all some of the incentives for like Philadelphia Brickfest Live. I hope to see you guys there. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button below too so I can continue making these videos for you guys. I really enjoy it. I hope you do too. I'll see you next time. Let's start building.